Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be making some Bloody Massacre guzz bands. Um, you might have seen some of these on my web store and on my Instagram. I'm going to be doing a tutorial and compare and contrast at the same time. So I'm going to be uh, doing a tutorial on how I do them. Um, and I'm also going to be contrasting the materials I use versus Halloween blood at the Halloween store and lower quality um, materials. This being because I've received some comments on my Instagrams and things like that. Um, just basically saying that people think they can do the same thing for less. So, you know, you're more than welcome to try to make your own pair. I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, and you'll see that making them for less might not give you uh, the same quality. There might not, it's not going to give you the same durability. And I'm just going to go um, into explaining what it is I use. And you'll probably understand better once we're done why I use what I use. Um, and that it is actually a uh, technique to it and maybe it's not quite as easy as one might think. So first I'm going to go over the materials I use. Um, I use Angelus Leather Paint, which is a paint intended for shoe customization. It doesn't crack, peel, fade, it can get wet. Um, it lasts, I tell people my shoes that the, the design will last as long as the shoes will. It doesn't get messed up. So then the other thing people have been saying, oh, I could just go to the Halloween store, use use that blood. So I got, I got some of that, which I'm guessing is washable because people wash it out. And I'm not sure about how those would hold up over time. So we're going to experiment with that today too. We're going to um, do a pair using what I do and showing you how I do it. And then we're going to try doing the same thing, but with this Halloween blood. Also, um, in terms of materials, I use, I don't really use the paint brushes that you just get in like the cheapest packs from the Michaels. Um, a lot of times those will, they're not very high quality. So when you paint with them, the bristles will like come off in the paint. And I like don't think that's a good look on the shoes. I mean, it will happen from time to time in high quality ones, but uh, it just happens way less and the brushes are way nicer. You can get better techniques and it just looks way better. Um, so probably each of these brushes is about like six to ten dollars that I use. First, like one little pack at the Michaels you'll get will be six dollars and give you a bunch of brushes, but they won't be good for anything. Um, and then I just get the shoes ready. Um, I just take the shoelaces out first, or set those aside for later. <clears throat> I also use these shoe trees. Um, they just allow like to hold the shoe properly so that you can paint on it and you have a nice surface. Um, you can also like use, you know, like stuff it with something if you don't have that. Um, this is going to be uh, way better to paint on. Um, but if you don't have that, I mean, you can use, you know, like tissue paper or whatnot. Okay, so usually I start with like a base layer before I get into like the splatter type look. Um, and so with this blood thing, we clearly only have the one color, but what I do when I'm working with paints is I use red and I also do like a brown because like blood, it kind of has like a brown tint to it when it dries. I kind of like to give it this like, you know, this filling of red to brown. So to make brown, you can either, you know, get just the exact brown or you can mix uh, red with purple. To get a nice brown. Then I just take a brush and mix it in. I gotta get a nice brown here. A nice bloody brown. Alright. Okay. And then you're gonna need, for this style, you're gonna need some water to kind of mix in with it. So I'm gonna go get some water. Okay, I got my water. All right, we're gonna do my style and paint on these. Okay, we'll try to mimic with the Halloween blood on these. All right. 
Okay, so first, here's an example pair. I'm gonna try to get these heavier splotches with like the blending and the like, and the watery looking ones, like the lighter opacities and stuff. That's what we're gonna go for first. So, I got my brownish red here. And real simple, just like this, kind of like it's been smudged and scratched. But then your dip in your water, kind of get some, some different opacities going here. You know, get some true red in there. So it's not like, do some circular motions, like it's like drips, then you can get some blood in here, uh, some water in here to make it look like the blood soaked in. Like some blood scratches or something, you know. Keep it loose here. I like to get some like real heavy, like the blood, like really touched here and like smeared or something. And then come in with some truer reds, like, you know. Um, I like to kind of space this part out because later you're gonna do the more splatter part. Um, that's gonna kind of, so I kind of like to leave some open spaces. So I like to get some of these big blotches, like a little onto the sole, but I don't like to just cover the whole thing in this stage yet. play around some different techniques. good base down um, and that's the first step so we'll get to the we'll get to the next step later but what I'm gonna try to do first is this same effect in the first step but with the Halloween blood I've only ever used the shoe paint um, for this poured myself a little vampire blood Okay, I'm gonna use a different brush. I'm still gonna use one of my nice brushes for this and we'll see, we'll see what happens. get the Angelus paint off this brush. And the thing is, is this probably costs the same, like one of these bottles probably costs the same as this. I mean, I think this was like four to six dollars. This larger bottle might have been more than that. I, I can't remember at the moment. Um, I'll have the link in the in the caption. You know, these these smaller ones, comparatively in size, are uh, you can get those for not too much. Um, actually, you know, I get them in packs with like all the colors, so I'm having a hard time remembering what just like one individual one is. But that's not like the main. That cost something, but. I mean, the brushes cost something, the supplies, you know, the shoes themselves, are, I mean, these bands are like, I mean, 50 to 70, depending on like where you get them, what kind of bands you get, um, et cetera. So 
So, so far it's looking like, I mean, it's definitely soaking into the fabric, but you're only getting like one kind of opacity. You're not getting as many textures. Um, yeah, I can blend in some water here. I think, you know, it's, it's pretty much keeping it one color. I don't think it makes it look as authentic, like it's as authentic blood. Um, this is, you know, the blood you get from the Halloween store for costumes and stuff. But I'm not getting the same effects as the paint. Um, it's definitely not going to hold on the sole so well. That's probably going to come right off. We will see that we're going to wash these at the end too. And when you add water to this one, it's almost turning it, turning it more pink like it's like a more of a dye type feel than a, um than a paint okay so so far in comparison trying to do the same techniques with the halloween blood versus Angela's shoe paint. This is what we're looking at. All right, so I'm seeing a lot more textures and gradient and color in the Angelus paint and the paint I use versus the Halloween store blood. Okay, and that's the first step to the process I use for these thing I have. It's ready to go on my splatter table um, outside so I don't make too much of a mess. Um, and for this one, I'm just gonna use uh, just solid red to splatter to get those splatter blood effects. So I'll just leave them face up first and then I'll just take one brush so first what I do is I dip it in nice and thick because the first one since it has the thickest amount of paint on the brush is going to be like that heavy splatter. So wherever you want that I like it I want it to be like in this space here so you know I'm going to get the thickest one. And then now that a lot of it's shaken off to do little like I have smaller little sporadic splatters just keep going like this. It gets those nice little ones. And then when you want a big one, dip it back in to get a nice thick amount on it. Like on, I want it on the side, so. You can even hit it a little bit. Like if you kind of want that, like a, like it bounced off of it look. And then you can like, if you want like a line kind of go in different directions, you can, you know, wave it different directions like that. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Then I like to turn them too to get a nice good splatter on the side there. I gotta get them red bottom bloody shoes, right? Okay, sorry, I'm not holding the camera good. Couldn't find my, uh, my head strap for my GoPro. Say you like don't actually don't want any of the splatter to get like inside of the shoe um then all you gotta do is just put this on like the opening so that it'll just like guard the opening so that when you you know it'll miss so it won't get in the sole if you just want it on the outside you know if you don't really care if you want like just the the full buddy effect you know don't even worry about it and don't forget the heels y'all okay you don't want them looking like that I'm gonna just let those dry. And if you want it to like look more seepy on the bottom of the shoe, you can kinda step in all those splatters if you want. All right. 
shoelaces are kind of preference too. Um, if you just want like a nice white contrast with them, that's cool. Or if you want a more like authentic, like, oh shoot, like the whole shoe got blood on it. Um, sometimes I just like to make little red splatters on them. You can get like as heavy as you want to. All right, now we have our pair here with the, the Halloween blood. You can see how it's set. Um, it's not nearly as textured and contrasty. Yeah, um, but we will finish with the same techniques of the splattering. All right. I'm gonna do some little ones, then I'm gonna dip from that tube um, to try to get like it thicker on the brush, like I did with the with the paint. So I'll do those like little splatters first. As I tried dipping the paintbrush in the tube, it gave me a little longer of an effect here, um, but still not as thick. I don't even think I'm gonna quite try to do anything else to these because I mean this is quality, you know, like. So what happens when you don't get the most quality. So uh, pretty much came out how I thought it was. Probably gonna go back over these with Angela's paint. Um, but this was to show you guys the comparison. This is now what they look like after um, drying overnight. And now I'm gonna water test them. These are looking just the same. These look like they're bleeding a little. And it's coming off too into the water and on the side. These are not. All right, this is after letting them dry. Um, after the water test, these are perfect, just as how they were. These um, definitely bled a lot here. Um, the problem with these two is since they bleed, uh, probably will come off on other things too, as um, Angelus paint won't. Um, this is the paint that I use. So this is our final comparison. These will be available on my web store. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Comment below any other tutorials that you may be interested in. Um, and maybe I can do more of these type of videos. And just comment any other thoughts. You can grab these at www.guzdesigns.com. I'll also write that in the caption.